Season 9 Episode 3 is recorded on January 15th, 2023. Now that I finally finished my English, after being frozen in time on ice for a long ass time, I can finally focus on finishing the most strictest school I have ever made in my entire life. Ha 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 ha. Who the hell are you? I am Lapis Lazuli. I am from a universe where I became the principal of Plotagon School. Holy shit. The multiverse exists. Well, you can thank Counselor Peridot for that. She's the counselor in your universe? Yes. But let's just say she takes her student's side more. I had to force her to give me the fucking portal gun. Now this I like. That's how strict I want things to be. Mandatory over optional. Ha 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 ha. Oh, sorry for the manners. My name is Professor Bienstock, the ancestor of Jeffy. I came from the 1770s. Very unusual for the man out of time. Well, nice to meet you too, Bienstock. Say, would you like to help me, Jeffy, and Rosalina build strict school? That's the name I came up with. I've worked on it since 2018 after Jeffy thought me out of frozen ice. Of course. Hey, Peridot, you wanna go grab some McDonald's? Sure. But I don't feel like driving. I'd rather do it from Portal Travel. Sounds good to me. Welcome to McDonald's. How may I take your order? I would like a burger, french fries, and chicken nuggets. Is that all, sir? No, not yet. I have another person with me. I would like a Big Mac, a soda, and french fries. Okay. Coming right up. That'll be 20 cents. Here you go. Thank you. Have a nice day. Man, McDonald's sure do have fast services. It's better than the real world that I visited. Let me guess. The real world is expensive. Yep. You pretty much spot on. Fucking wow. This is why Plotagon City is better. I agree. So how did you and Zephyr Breeze meet, and have you cut ties with Lapis before? I will say yes. But sit back tight, because this is gonna be a bumpy ride. Wow, you must have a nice barn here. Thank you. I built it myself. I used metal for resources. Cool. And who's that blue girl over there? Oh her? That's Lapis Lazuli. She's coming. Peridot. Who the hell is this kid? Wait. It's okay Lapis, Gur is very trustworthy. Oh, nice to meet you I guess. Nice to meet you too. I heard that you do water tricks. Can you show me one of them? No. You're just as annoying as Steven. Go the fuck away. Okay. You're so mean. Lapis, that's enough. Why are you acting this way? I had to build another barn because of you. And now you're being rude to Gur. There is something wrong with you. Well I hope you get rid of that kid. And if I see him one more time, I'm going to drown him to death. Lapis. You're going way too far this time. Shut the fuck up, Peridot. You know what, Lapis? I'm cutting ties with you. You are no good to me. This is a breakup. So go away. I don't want to see you ever again. Whatever. I feel so bad for Peridot. This makes me wish she found someone better. Lapis is not a very good girlfriend. And I wish she was my aunt. Wait a minute. Zephyr Breeze is my uncle. And he never had a girl ever in his life. 
and I know that Peridot is bisexual, so that might be okay. I think I might have an idea about this. Hey Peridot. I know someone who can make you feel better. Just come with me. I have an uncle, I think you might like him better than Lapis. Okay. I trust you, girl. Oh my god. Gur had told me everything about what's been happening between you and Lapis. Are you okay? Please, help me. I need some comfort. I'm very sorry that this happened to you. It's going to be okay. I'm here for you. And I won't let anyone hurt you. Thank you. So I heard that your name is Peridot. That's a nice name. I'm Zephyr Breeze. Nice to meet you Zephyr. Thank you for the compliment. Wow. That was a shocking story. I'm sorry you had to go through all of that shit. At least you found someone better. It's okay Mario. All in the past now. All that matters now is that I have cut ties with Lapis three times by breaking up with her, poofing her, and then killing her for good. She had caused so much trouble in my life. Killing her was the last straw for me. You're right. The moral lesson here is, sometimes it's better to cut ties with the toxic people in your life. That's true.